So you're thinking about moving to Austin, Texas and wanna live near a golf community? Today we are talking about Austin Country Club on the west side of Austin. We're gonna give you the pros and the cons. Is it hot or not? So some of the things we're gonna talk about is the education, the community, the amenities, the safety, and the sports activities that you can get done. And if you stick around to the end, we'll also tell you what's not so hot. Let's get started right away. If this is your first time to our channel and you'd like to know everything there is to know about living in Austin, Texas, then subscribe below and tap the bell so you'll get notified when we have new updates about the current market in Austin, Texas. Hi, I'm Nicole Cooper and my team and I get calls from people just like you all the time needing help to move in or around Austin, Texas. And we absolutely love it. If you're looking to move in nine or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. The information is down below. We love helping people make a smooth transition transition in Austin just like you. Well, let's get started on Austin Country Club. Number one pro for Austin Country Club is the school district that it's located in. It's located in Eames ISD and it's one of the most highly regarded school districts in the area. I'm going to take you down to the computer and show you through the school so you can see all the grades for yourself. Let's get down there. All right, so here are the schools for the Eames ISD. It has six elementary schools, two middle schools and a high school. I'm gonna briefly run through each of them so you can see the grade breakdown and demographics of each one. So Barton Creek Elementary gets 95 out of 100. Total student enrollment of 504 and that puts it at about 12 students per teacher. We move on to Bridgepoint Elementary, it gets 92 out of 100. Total students 583 and about 12.4 students per teacher. Moving on to Cedar Creek Elementary, same thing, 92 out of 100, 527 students, 12.1 students per teacher. Carrying on to Eames Elementary, 95 out of 100, total student enrollment of 543, and 11.1 .1 students per teacher. Moving along to Forest Trail Elementary, 95 out of 100 also, Total student enrollment, 560, and the number of students per teacher is 12.8. Our next one, Valley View Elementary, 91 out of 100, but only 355 students in this school, 9.8 students per teacher. Next one, Forest Trail Elementary, 95 out of 100, a little bit larger at 560 students in the school and 12.8 students per teacher. Now we're going to move on to the middle school. It is a 97 out of 100. This is Hill Country Middle School. It has a total enrollment of 1,010 students and about 14.6 students per teacher. Westridge Middle School, 96 out of 100. Total students, 894. 13 students per teacher on average. And then Westlake High School, 98 out of 100. Quite impressive. It's no wonder that people pay premiums to live in the Eanes ISD school district. Their total enrollment for high school, 2,809 students, about 14.2 students per teacher. So you get an idea of this Eanes school district. It is definitely one of the best in town. As you can see, all of them have a grade of A. I think the lowest one was 91 or 92 or higher. That's impressive. All right, let's move on to our next topic. Our second pro for the Austin Country Club neighborhood are the property values and how they hold their value over time. I'm gonna give you some averages here for the community and what I've done is taken a two mile radius around the actual country club of Austin Country Club because the Davenport Ranch doesn't really cover that much area and the Davenport Ranch is what Austin Country Club is located in. So this will go east and west of 360 and north and south of the lake just a little bit. So within a two mile radius of the country club. Our average close price for homes in this area is $1.88 million. The average square footage is just over 3,500 square feet on, a, on any given house, and they average four bedrooms, four baths. The average lot size is right around half an acre, so they are a little bit larger lots than, say, some typical city lots, not quite as big as maybe a rural or suburban lot out there where you get closer to an acre, but half an acre on average is very good size. 
And lastly, the average closed price of $1,880,000. The price per square foot is putting it right around $550 a square foot. One thing that affects value in this part of town more so than normal is its location. Does it have a view of the golf course or the lake, or is it located on the lake? Those, or on the golf course, for example, those will spike the price up a lot because it's supply and demand. There's not many lake lots available, nor golf course adjacent lots. So if you have a property that's on the water or on the golf course, you can expect a big premium for that one. The third pro for the Austin Country Club neighborhood area is a sense of community and belonging. At the, at the Country Club, the amenities and events that the Country Club throws, it really brings people together. And there's even a new magazine called Stroll Davenport that features one family per month and takes all of the local businesses that are in that area to just kind of showcase them. It's really, really important for those people in that area to feel like they have something in common, and they do. They have these beautiful homes, luxury living, exquisite taste, and a wonderful country club at the heart of it. But one thing I've noticed about the community at the Austin Country Club, every time I've been invited there, all the members seem to know each other's names and say hello to each other. It's a very, very warm and inviting atmosphere. All right, we're moving on to the number four pro for the Austin Country Club community and surrounding areas, and that's the outdoor life. I mean, you're right on Lake Austin. It couldn't be any better. There's, you're also in the hill country, so you have the perfect combination of the hiking and biking trails and the entry to the water, where the water skiing is some of the best in town because the lake is so narrow that you don't get so much wind and makes all those waves. Like, when you get out to Lake Travis, in some places, the lake is so wide that it almost feels like you're skiing on the ocean sometimes. You have white caps out there. But on Lake Austin, if you catch it in the early morning, you will actually absolutely ski on glass and then of course if you catch it later in the afternoon then you're maybe looking for the party crowd where all the boats are out running around talking to each other maybe sitting on those big um, lily pad floaty things and just making runs under the under the beautiful penny backer bridge and up to the hula hut so it is a definitely a huge point of access to the lake and to the hill country now, if we're talking about the club itself, well, you've got one of the best 18-hole golf courses around. You've got tennis courts, pickleball courts, you've got activities for the kids, you've got the outdoor dining and things. Let's talk a little bit about the golf course before we move in. It's a peat dye design. Half of it's down kind of on the water a little bit on the lowland and kind of flat. Half of it's up on the more hill countryside, hitting over ravines and things. It is always in impeccable condition super green, greens are lightning fast, and I would suggest playing with a member the first couple of times you play it because you can't always tell where you need to hit it off the tee, and I still can't read the greens after playing it numerous times out there, so I still need some help reading those greens. But guys, let me tell you, the outdoor activities are impeccable over on the west side of Austin, and especially right around the surrounding of the Austin Country Club. And our number five pro for the Austin Country Club community, it is considered a very safe neighborhood. It is on the outskirts of town. There's no public transportation that goes near it, so you don't have any foot traffic at all whatsoever. And there's a lot of really beautiful homes in there, and um, people pay a lot of money to have it well guarded and safe and secure around the area. So if you move into that part of town, you will definitely feel that warm, fuzzy feeling at night and not have to worry. So Davenport Ranch is considered a very safe part of town. It's on the west side of town, on the just inside Highway 360. There's no public transportation that drops on or off there. Uh, not that public transportation is a bad thing, it's just sometimes you get a lot of foot traffic if there is a bus stop right near your house. Well, there isn't one in this area. So this neighborhood, by and large, has very low crime rates. The neighbors really watch out for each other, and some of the neighbors even have their own gated properties. Um, but once you get out into this part of town, I think you will feel that warm, fuzzy feeling of security fall just on top of you, and you will enjoy being out there.
Now you may be saying, well, let's just make the move right now, but hold on a minute. We do have some cons about moving it to Austin Country Club. What, what about the property that's not hot? Well guys, first of all, the first thing that is not hot, our first con of the neighborhood is the cost of living. I gave you the average sale prices earlier at the $1,880,000 of property. Now, while that is a good thing for some, it is a bad thing for others. Not a lot of people can afford to live in that community. Not a lot of people can afford to live in the Eanes ISD at all. So to many people, that would be a con, just the cost of living that's such so out of reach for some people. And while we're on the topic of real estate, not a lot of it turns over in those highly desirable areas. You know, those areas right along the lake, the areas right along the golf course. I think in the last year, there's only one home that's become available that fronts the golf course. There's just not a lot of properties that do that. So again, it's that supply and demand thing. There's not a lot of supply, so it's high demand when they come up. So this is definitely the not so hot topic of the Austin Country Club and Davenport Ranch area. The second con of being out on that west side of town at the Austin Country Club and Davenport Ranch area is the traffic. I mean, if it's high traffic time of day at rush hour, you have to pretty much tape Loop 360 to get most places. Of course, you can you can scoot through the neighborhood on Redbud Trail and you know go through the windy roads and get through the neighborhood. But a lot of other people are cutting through there too. When you're on 360 at five o'clock, it is just stop and go. That's all there is to it. There's no way around it. So if you have to commute somewhere that takes you on the major highways to and from Austin Country Club, that's gonna be a con for you. So take that into consideration when you're buying or looking at your homes in there. You wanna actually make those commutes that you have to do every day or at least three or four days a week. You wanna do those at prime times. You wanna go in the morning when kids are getting dropped off at school and it's normal rush hour before eight o'clock and you wanna go again at five o'clock, six o'clock, whatever your hours are, make sure you can handle that commute. I also always recommend going to the properties on the weekend, driving around in the neighborhoods to see what's going on on Saturday morning, Sunday evening. Do you feel the vibe? You gotta know for yourself, is it hot or not? So let's carry on to our next con, our final con. And our last con are just typical HOA regulations. If you're one of those people that wants to build your house and make the have it purple shutters and a blue roof, you know, you're gonna have some challenge because things need to look a certain way in the community and your neighbors are gonna care if you come in and park your car in the front yard or if you don't cut the grass a certain height and do all of those things. Now, many people see an HOA as a pro because it does keep everything looking nice and kept well kept and everything has the same type of architectural feel the same kind of vibe and most people that are looking to move in this kind of community are looking for a certain lifestyle and that's generally what an HOA a homeowners association will keep intact they'll keep that same lifestyle and vibe going so some may think it's a con you can't have chickens in the backyard but some may think it's a pro because it keeps everything looking homogenous and keeping that lifestyle vibe the way you wanted it to be when you bought it. Good things, what is hot in Austin Country Club? We've got an excellent educational system. We're in the Eanes ISD. We have a great sense of community. Property values hold over time. They increase enormously. We've got the outdoor life that can't be beat and it's super safe. What's not so hot? Well, we've got the traffic, We've got the property or the cost of living is super high to get into and we've got that pesky HOA that makes us follow the rules. I hope this has helped you make a decision on whether you may like Austin Country Club. Do you think it's hot or not? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I can't wait to see you around town.